That's going live. No, that's actually not. I'm gonna cut that. <laughs> we're not gonna do that. We 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 we're, we're not uncouth here. We like we're we're highfalutin people here. We we keep it above board all the time. <laughs> we try. We we're try. Not, man, we do try, but sometimes it goes off the or tracks big time. Hey, Kim folk, welcome back to Keeping It Neat with Derek and Nick. I am Derek, Executive Bourbon Steward. I'm Nick, Certified Bartender. And we're coming here today, Nick, for what? To try a flavored Friday. <laughs> Sometimes I like throwing, tricking Nick up. You know, he wants me to bring it all the way in and finish it up and just so he gets I'm into like, the nosing. But sometimes I like to trip him up and say, yeah. here, we're doing this. And, you know, Nick, take it away. But here we are. Yeah, we're doing a flavored Friday, folks. And today what we have is the Jameson Cold Brew picture to show up in the middle right here. Sir, are you ready to whiskey? Ready and able. Let's go. Let's get into it. Immediately, you're getting oh. str straight espresso bean. Also want to give a big shout out to Junior Bourbon Babe, Sadie, because she actually bought this one because she's of legal age now. She bought this for us. She ordered it online. See, Dude, it's just coffee. All so I'm getting coffee. is black coffee. That's what I'm getting. Like if you were to go anywhere and get a coffee with no sugar, no cream. You're getting black coffee. That's all I'm getting out of this. Just coffee bean. I was going to say coffee bean, even like oh, espresso. There's, actually, there's Yeah, espresso kind of. But there's actually a sweet note, kind of maybe like a vanilla -y tone going on vanilla. in there. Totally vanilla. All right. Let's go in for let's the taste. Black coffee. Black coffee. <laughs> Um, not getting coffee any got set out too long. <laughs> this, I mean, it's it's literally I mean coffee. I mean I don't know how I to break it down anymore. I don't want I'm not putting water in this. I'm not gonna do the H2O because there's no point to it. Um, if you wanted to ice, it'd be black iced coffee. That's basically what you would have if you put it on ice. But as far as this one, I mean, I don't think there's much more to it. If you like black coffee, you like Irish whiskey, you get some Jameson going on in there. That's what it is. They cut everything out. This is the classic, I guess, Irish coffee, maybe? I I don't know. Yeah, you could make a you could make a nice Irish coffee with this, actually. I think this would be better because I don't like when I have an Irish coffee specifically because the Jameson's so pungent and strong. Whereas this would be nice because it's it tastes just like coffee. We can't break this down for you anymore, guys. No, I can't yeah, really. It's, it's coffee. It's got some vanilla. It's got sweet. It's got some Jameson in there. It's got those light notes of an Irish whiskey going on in there also. But honestly, I can see this as an after-dinner drink just the way it is. You know, yes. like you have an espresso, you just do it. This is what I'm thinking of it right now. After dinner, just kind of chilling out, hanging around. After dinner, yeah. you want an espresso, but you don't. You want a little kick it up a notch? Just go, hey, do you have the Jameson cold brew? And get that going for you. And I think this is that be, in. Yeah. So that's where we're at with that. But I think we're gonna wrap it up with this, folks. We liked it. It's good. What do you what would you give it for a score, you think, right now? If you if you want to throw a grade on it. Because it's kind of weird. It's an offshoot of what the you know the flavors we normally do. I give it a four. Just okay. because it, it is good for what it is. I I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and drink this, obviously, right now. Like I'm actually no. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably try to save this in the fridge till tonight, you know, a little yeah. bit later or something. Um, because I don't need any more caffeine right now. Uh <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I think this is a nice after dinner drink. I think you can make some fun cocktails with this. I think that there's things you can work out with this, but it's not something that I'm gonna sit there and say, you need to go drink this consistently. Yeah, no, like this is just a good like say. thing to work with. It's good for what it is. I'd give it a three and a half um mm -hmm. for what it's for what it's representing. Um, it's a black coffee with whiskey. That's what you're getting out of it. Um, and really that you're not getting much more flavor notes other than that. So, I mean, I think Nick's done with it. I can tell by the look on his face. It's just, yeah, I'm done. Let's move along. So but, I was going mean, to say, I got nothing else here to work no, with, like at it, all. There's nothing else going on here. So yeah. thanks everyone for watching. As you know, comment down below. Let us know if you've tried it before, what you think of it, what you've done with it. If you've done some mixed drink, put it down in the comments. You know, tell us, you know, maybe we'll, we'll recreate it right here on the air and we'll give you the credit. That's what that's what we do. We're big about that. We'll give you the credit. We're not too big. Um, but uh, thank you very much, everybody. You know, comment, like, share, do everything that you're supposed to do that we always tell you to do. And we appreciate you so much. And here's hoping that you all find a little bit of luxury. In an otherwise ordinary life. Thanks, everyone. Take care. If you are ready and able to whiskey, be sure to drop a comment below. 
hit those like and subscribe buttons, and press notifications. Also, follow Keeping It Neat on Instagram. Thanks for watching, kinfolk.